Wow, that makes me sound like such a spoiled brat. It's in my other room because I have two rooms. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with the Booktornet All-Star Charity Challenge created by Rachel Marie. If you guys are unaware, Rachel is currently doing a charity fundraiser for COVID-19 where she created this little bingo board where you have to talk about the authors and the books on this board and why you've read the authors, why you've read those books, what you thought of them, or why you haven't read the books. And if you are to make a video or a blog post, some kind of submission to this challenge, then Rachel is going to donate one euro to COVID-19 support. And I think that's so great. She said she would donate up to 75 euros in case this blows up, which I really hope it does. So I'll leave her link down below as well as the original videos where you can get all of the information because I probably did not explain that very well, but we're just going to get straight into the challenge. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first author on her challenge board is Angie Thomas, and I actually have read one Angie Thomas book, but that is The Hate You Give. I have two copies of it. One's an ARC version and one's the UK version. I usually only have one edition per like book on my shelf, but I just love this story so much. I think I gave it a 5 out of 5 star or a 4.5 out of 5 star when I read it. I just think it's such an important story. And then Angie Thomas also wrote On the Come Up, which I own, but have not read yet just because I haven't gotten around to it. I really want to. And I do know that she is coming out with another book next year I think which I'm also gonna want to pick up I'm sure so I need to get around to this so that I can read the one about Maverick because I love Maverick. The next series on her little bingo board was the Shatter Me series. I read Shatter Me did not continue on with the story. I honestly don't really know why I didn't continue on. I think I only gave Shatter Me three out of five stars so it might have just been because it felt very like mediocre as a book for me. I honestly have no idea what it's about other than Juliet touches people and they die. Like, I, I don't know anything else about it. I do know everybody's like obsessed with Kenji and nobody likes Adam, but everybody likes Warner. And I don't know why, so nor will I ever know why because I probably will never read that series. Next is Lee Bardugo. I own a lot of Lee Bardugo. Let me just pick it up. So I'll start with the only Lee Bardugo book I've actually read, Ninth House. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really liked it, but like I said, it's literally the only Lee Bardugo book I've read. So disappointed in myself, but not surprised. And then the other books that I have but have not read by her are the Grisha Trilogy. I own the other two. They're on my bookshelf over there, but I didn't want to bring them into my stack of millions of books because I have no arm strength and I was like, that's a lot of weight to hold up and you're too weak to do that. So I left them over there, but have not read this, which also means I have not read Six of Crows or Crooked Kingdom because I pretty sure you have to read Grisha Trilogy first before you read these. Although I've been hearing that you are able to read them without having read the Grisha Trilogy, although it's like, there's like mentions of things in this one that will make more sense if you read Grisha, so I kind of want to read this trilogy before this. Also have not read King of Scars. I think this is about the like main guy in the Grisha trilogy or something. I don't know. A lot of people were disappointed with this book. That's all I know. People were really excited and then did not like it. And then I also own The Language of Thorns, I think, but it's in my other room. Wow, that makes me sound like such a spoiled brat. It's in my other room because I have two rooms. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, so I have not read a lot of Lee Bardugo and I'm honestly ashamed. What kind of booktuber am I? Next on the list was, I'm surrounded by so many books I don't know where they are. Ooh, okay, Holly Black's The Cruel Prince. I also own the other two in the series, but I figured I would just hold up one book to represent the whole thing. Read these, loved them. I'm pretty sure I gave each of them 5 out of 5 or 4.5 out of 5. Don't remember which was which, but really enjoyed the series overall. Next on her little bingo board is The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco. I have not read this book, although I really want to. I think it sounds really good and all of the controversy behind this author and Mackenzie Lee has just made me want to read this book even more. This will definitely be on my TBR for next month. 
I hope. Honestly, my mom picks my TBR, so it might not be, but in my head, I'm reading this book next month. Next on the list is V.E. Schwab. Uh, I have a lot of her books, but <laughs> I have not read a lot of them. I have read the Monsters of Verity duology. This is one of my favorites series duologies ever. I just think it's really well done. I believe I gave them both 4.5, but I don't remember. But I know that it was high up on my list. I own Darker Shade of Magic, but not the other two in this series. Have not read it. The only reason I haven't read this is because I don't own the other two in this series, and I hate starting series where I don't have all the books because then I get really annoyed at myself because I read the first book, fall in love with it, and then I can't go on with the series. So until I own the rest of this series I probably won't be starting it because I like to binge things. And that is the same for Vicious. I own the first one but I don't own Vengeful and it's another whole I don't want to start it if I can't finish it kind of situation so I need to find Vengeful before I start this one. Next on the list is one of my favorites. It is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I own the entire Luna Chronicles. I own every book that Marissa Meyer writes. She is like my autobi author. I love her so much. Five out of five stars. Like highly recommend her series, her books, her like everything. I just love her. I'm pretty sure that this was the first like hyped book I ever read because I usually don't read hyped books. When I first started booktube I read a lot of like backlisted books that nobody has ever heard of which is honestly a lot of the times what I kind of do now but this was the first series that was like super hyped on booktube that I actually read so it kind of holds like a little special place in my heart because it kind of got me on the bandwagon of people actually knowing what books I was talking about because when I first started in like 2014 or whenever it was like I read books that nobody have read so like there was no discussion at all that I could have with people because they didn't know what the I was talking about so. Next author is Adam Silvera. I have one book by him, uh, More Happy Than Not. I think I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. From what I remember when I read it like it was good but I don't think it was anything like blow your mind out of this world kind of thing. I have not read any other Adam Severo book, nor do I own any other Adam Severo book. I would like to read his books if I'm able to find them in the thrift store because your girl doesn't buy full price books because I'm broke. So unless they ever end up at the thrift store, your girl's never going to read them. But I am interested, just probably will never happen. Next up is Cassie Clare. I actually own every Cassie Clare book except for Lord of Shadows. Have I read them all? No, I just recently finished The Mortal Instruments, which I have the one book of here because I was not going to carry all of those books from my other room to this room. But I have read all of these books. I really enjoyed them. I have read all of the Infernal Devices. really enjoyed them. I think I like Infernal Devices way more than The Mortal Instruments. I have Chain of Gold. I have not read it. I've read The Bane Chronicles. It was okay, but it wasn't like amazing. I have the two other anthologies that she has, the Ghosts of the Shadow Market and the Red Scrolls one. I don't have the Shadow Codex, I think that's what it's called, or the one with the guy, the archer, that might be the Codex, but I don't have that one. I think it was the first anthology. But I think other than that, like, I own all the Cassie Clare books. Lord of Shadows and the Codex one are the only two that I don't have, but I haven't read any of the Dark Artifices, though, or Chain of Gold, so... I am behind on the game, but we're slowly catching up. Next is Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I do not have this book, nor have I read it. I really want to because of how hyped it is on booktube, but I feel like that is one that I will never ever find at a thrift store. Also, it is not available on Amazon. I'm assuming because everybody has bought it. So yeah, I doubt I'll ever end up reading it unless I get it from the library, but you know, we might one day, hopefully, because I want to be on that bandwagon because everyone loves it. Next up, Lainey Taylor. I have the whole Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by her. Honestly, I don't know if she has any other books. Oh, she has like a short story about puppets or something. It's not about puppets, but it's got puppets in the title, I think. I don't own it, nor have I read it. I loved this trilogy, though. I thought it was really entertaining. And again, this is one of the first trilogies that I read. I read this first one early on when it came out, but the other two I had didn't read until last year. And overall, just a really great series, so. Honestly, I'm doing pretty well in what I have read. I'm actually surprised because I didn't think that I read a lot of popular books, but apparently I do. Next up, Illuminae by Jay Kristoff. I own Gemina and Obsidio. Have I read those? No, I've read this one. I gave it a 3.5. I was actually really disappointed in this one. I think because I had it so 
so hyped up in my mind when I read it that it just kind of fell short because everybody had been saying how amazing it was and how like I was gonna love it so much so I think I had very high expectations but I have heard that the other two books get better so definitely intrigued to see how the story progresses and how it ends but I have not gotten around to it yet. Next up is Scythe. I own this one. Also I own the second book in the series, Thunderhead. I think it's called, but I didn't want to carry it over here because I was carrying a lot of books. I do not own The Toll. Have I read this book yet? No, but it is on my list to get to soon because I've heard such good things about it. But unfortunately, I don't own Toll yet, so in my head, that means that we can't read it until we own the whole collection, so it's on the back burner right now, but it will be done eventually. Next up, Sarah J Maas. I... Am a bit of a disappointment in this one. I have read Throne of Glass, only the first book. I own the rest of the series, but I sure as hell was not gonna bring that over here because that's freaking shit ton of books, so was not gonna happen, but I've only read this one. I will get around to reading it eventually, just don't know when that'll be. They kind of intimidate me because they're hefty, honestly. And then you guys are gonna be proud of me. I'm actually reading A Court of Thorns and Roses right now. So I'm on page 182. So I mean, we're making our way slowly through this whole thing, but I'm enjoying it so far, but I don't think it's going to be like a five out of five stars like it is for a lot of people. I think it'll probably be like a four at the most, unless it gets good. We'll see. Next series is Ember in the Ashes. I own all three that are released right now. I really want to get the fourth book because I read this last month, like the whole series, and I am obsessed with it. I gave the first two 4.5 out of 5 and the last one 5, but honestly, I kind of want to go back and give them all 5 out of 5 stars because just the whole series together is just like chef's kiss. I loved it so much, so I definitely am excited to see where the story goes in the fourth book. Next up is Sean and Maguire. I only own Middle Game. Have not read it. I really need to. I honestly cannot think of other books that she has written. I know that she writes under Mira Grant as well. I'm gonna read this author because everybody loves them so much. I'm also bummed that I do not have the Doorway series. I don't know what it's called, but those four books I want to read so badly because like everybody freaking loves those books. So I want to be on that bandwagon as well. Next up is Poppy War. I do not own this. I really would like to read it because like everybody loves it. I also really want to read the sequel Dragon Republic. I think there's a third book coming out or Dragon Republic is coming out. I am honestly not sure which is correct on that <laughs> whole aspect if it is even a thing. I don't even know if there's a third book but I'm pretty sure there is probably wrong but the point is I don't own it I need it I want it so maybe one day if it's ever at the thrift store we'll actually read and then finally last book on the list is to all the boys I've loved before I have read it I really loved this one really did not like the other two well like I think I gave the other two both three out of five I think that this book alone could have sufficed for the whole series that's just my opinion but I was not the biggest fan of the other two I thought they were unnecessary but I really liked this one so take that as you will all right everybody so that was my contribution to the all-star charity challenge that Rachel Marie is hosting I guess hosting I will leave her links down below so definitely go check it out I'll also leave the donation page if you guys want to donate yourselves and I'll leave the like submission page down below as well so yeah let me know if you guys are going to participate because I would love to watch your videos and I will see you all in my next video goodbye